All right, Stacy, what do we have? What's going on oh here? Oh my gosh, a homemade favorite with a, a Nick Twist, Nick I Twist, guess. you're gonna share a family recipe. I am. This is something we grew up with all the time. You guys stick around. Up next is our Midwest meat and potatoes. All right, so what do we have going on? Over here, I've got potatoes. They're just ready for mashing, all Perfect. right? So they're cooked up. We're gonna cut the heat on that. We're gonna focus over here. Then we'll mash, then we'll finish. Does that sound like a plan? Plan. Okay, so what I want you to do, we'll, we'll make a sauce, kind of a base sauce. We're going barbecue style, so we're gonna use tomato puree and apple cider vinegar. You wanna mix those two? Perfect, thank you. There you go. And then I'll help you, how about that? A little Perfect. tattoo action. And then this is super radical rib rub right here. Boom, if you don't have this, get some. Oh, I love that stuff. It's good. Good stuff. Okay. All right. So that's kind of our sauce base. Now we're just gonna take these. These are like country style ribs. Is that mm -hmm. how you see them? Yeah. Mark. And then we'll just kind of roll them. And then you guys, look at this, look at this. Yeah. Huh? It doesn't even drip. Oh, it's so like good. like the perfect nappe, huh? You know what nappe is or no, not? No, what is that? Okay. It's like a consistency for a sauce. Oh. And how you test for nappe is you take this, you get it in here, and then if you can run your finger through it and it oh, stays without floating awesome. down, that's nappe. Okay. So we're right there. Just go ahead and throw the lid on. Okay, and then from there, um, do you know what we're gonna do? Like um, cooking temperature? After a whole day, let's see. Cancel. Yeah, that's always a good start. Okay. And then go. We're gonna adjust the temp or the no, time. Go manual. Oh. Okay. And then go up to 35. 35. We're gonna go for 35 minutes. 35 minutes. And you could probably do meat stew, it would put you right there, but there's a lot of different instant pot versions out there right now. So I'd like to just kinda okay. give everybody's got a manual button in 35 minutes. Easy does Sound it. Good? Perfect. High pressure, it's kicking on. So we're gonna let that cook and then we'll let it uh, naturally vent for about 15 minutes. Cool. Then we'll pop the steam and take a look. Sweet. Sound like a plan? Plan. <sighs> now over here I've got potatoes. <whistles> look at those babies. These are Yukon Gold. We could use whites, russets. I think we would pull them right out of the garden. Just drill them right up. out. Yeah, you said drill. Well, we did. Well, I mean, it takes. You know, How'd you drill them out? With a drill? I don't know. No, we'd have the, a pitchfork. A pitchfork. Okay, cool. So, I like it. Mom would just be like, go get some potatoes out of the garden. Okay, now here, mash them. These are perfect. Wow. Don't you think? How long did you have that boiling perfect for? Perfect for mashing. Yeah, that's great. Easy. And you could put, I mean, a lot of times. People will use a mixer, mm -hmm. right? Like a stand mm -hmm. mixer yeah. or a hand mixer. I'm a fan of a whisk. Okay. I think my dad had an actual like potato masher. Ricer? Like, no, like, yeah, it was like a Oh yeah, yeah, like a masher. masher yeah. Where we got butter, we got some farm butter. This is actually Amish rolled butter. You ever had Sounds that? Sounds so good, I Sounds have not. Sounds like it might be from a farm, doesn't it? it does to me. Okay. And then sour cream, you said? Yeah, That's a little how. bit. That was always dad's little secret. Do you want to, how do you want to do this? You want um, to spoon and all okay. stir? Okay, sounds good. Maybe, should we do the butter first? Let's so do the butter, melts melts a little bit. Okay. How much of this? You tell me, this is your thing. Let's start with half of this. Good call. Okay. And then we can put the other half in at the end. Perfect. Right. A little salt and pepper. Awesome. Or just salt or what? No, salt and pepper okay. for sure. Season as we go kind of thing or? Learn that, yeah. definitely. You tell me when you want the sour cream. Ready. Okay. Fold this in too. Yeah. My grandpa was actually mm. in charge of making cottage cheese and sour oh. cream at Cass Clay Creamery. Oh, no way. Fargo, North Dakota. Oh, no way. What if we leave these just kind of chunky like Perfect. this? Perfect. Is it gonna be okay? I love that. Do you want Let's more butter in there? It. Let's try it. I bet you it's delicious. Crap. Coming along, but I say we go all butter. Tastes like the farm. And a nice, heavy mm. pinch of salt. How's that? Perfect. All right. You okay if we put all this in there? Let's do it. Okay, then what's what else do we have? What's this all about? Sauerkraut. We've already warmed that up and just have it in the bowl. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, man, I remember having sauerkraut a lot. Did you? Yeah, it was one of dad's favorite. I'm a big fan. Might not make the house smell the greatest, but 
It sure does taste good. Oh. This is gonna be money. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. It's like crack. So what's next? Okay, we should probably check on the ribs. Check on the ribs. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Stace. Let's check it out. What's in that? Oh my gosh, do I need to release pot? this? Um, yeah, let's just do this. Oh yeah. Whoa, Yay. Hey. <laughs> Don't do that with your fingers. Ha. Yeah, I remember that. Don't press the one. But. So we'll see. What I'm hoping for is like some tender pork and then a nice. You getting barbecue out of that Smells or what? Like ribs. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Yep, I got the, wow, what is that? It's the, the vinegar, yeah. I got the vinegar yeah. with that. Yeah, it smells so good. So it'll kind of let us, there we go. So now Perfect. as soon as you can move this, then All it's right. kind of safe. But yeah, go ahead All and right. do that. Oh, oh my go. gosh. There we go. So what I'm thinking is we'll kind of plate this up with a bed of potatoes, okay. and then you said sauerkraut next. Yeah. And then we'll try to contain as much of that juice as possible okay. so that it looks nice. Okay. And then we got a little garnish going here. Perfect. Look at this. Yeah. Always showing Stacy just to we call it the Asian bias cut. Does it kind of have an Asian look to it? This a little guy? bit. Yeah. Whew. It does. Should we go here? Let's do it. How much? Two scoops? Oh, for sure. You're gonna you're gonna end up going for seconds anyway on this one. Okay, then some sauerkraut. How much? I love sauerkraut, so plate her up. Three of these. Yes. How's that? Perfect. Kind of a little bit around the side, yeah. so it doesn't get covered up. Yeah. You know what's in there? Now our ribs. How much of this? Oh man, looks like a portion to me. A little bit more. Oh. There we go. A little that, top. That's it. That's topper. it. Topper. Look at this topper. Yes. Yes. Boom. Awesome. It'd be nice if this were a little bit thicker, but mm -hmm. as that cools, yeah, yeah, no, it's gonna thicken up. up. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Yeah. And then some of the scallions, maybe we do something like that. Lauren would be freaking out. Lauren would be, huh? oh my God, oh my gosh. Over the top. Ah, Dad, are you watching this? All right, guys, well, there we have it. Stacy. thank you so much for yeah. sharing that. I wish yeah. your dad were here to to partake, he but he would have loved that. He's yeah. here in spirit. I hope you're watching this, Lauren. This has been a uh, kind of a twist on a Midwest classic. I'm a meat and potatoes guy myself, so sure. let's wrap this up so we can chow down. Yeah. Sound good? Sounds great. Get in the kitchen, have some fun, and until next time, happy, happy cooking. cooking.